Welcome to another edition of Make Fun in Your Business, presented by Segra. I'm Nate Courant, the Director of Promotions with the Charleston River Dogs. And normally we give you a nice view. We had a really nice shot set up and then the rain started here in Charleston, but it's summer and that's okay. Uh, we're joined today by one of my favorite people in minor league baseball. I've never seen him outside of a Hawaiian shirt until right now. This is uh, my friend Greg from the Lakewood Blue Claws. Greg, go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Greg Jambarisi. I work for the Lakewood Blue Claws. I'm the Director of Communications and Radio Broadcaster. Well, Greg, thanks again for doing this. We really appreciate your time. Um, for those unfamiliar, Lakewood is located in New Jersey, and I know that's been a hot spot during uh, the past couple months. How are things going for you guys up there? Yeah, things are okay. We're uh, hanging in there, hoping to get baseball back at the ballpark here pretty soon. But, you know, we're hanging in there. The governor of New Jersey just uh, dropped the stay-at-home order, so things are starting to open up a little bit more here just as we get into uh, into the teeth of the summer. Yeah, it's, it's a summer like we've never seen before. So how have you guys adjusted what you do with your sponsors and your partners to you know, still make sure to, to satisfy what your requirements are and kind of be a little bit more creative with it? So we've been doing what you know a lot of teams have, and I know what, what you guys have, and that's kind of just working with each individual partner to fit their needs as, as best as we can. A lot of that obviously is, uh, is digital because we haven't been able to welcome fans into the ballpark. So some of it is kind of sharing the content that they've already created. Some of it is working with them on creating some new content to fit their specific needs and, and kind of tie in and, and do what we can to help the community. So, you know, we've been working with our hospital partner here, RWJ Barnabas Health, on uh, on a few different content pieces that uh, have been popular. A lot of them are, you know, tips. So, mental health tips, um, home workout tips that we've done with our physical therapy partner, Atlanta Physical Therapy Center. So, you know, different things like that, any way that we can get, um, you know, the fans engaged and help spread the the message of our partners, you know, help promote restaurants that are opening for or have been open for curbside pickup or delivery, you know, types of business that maybe they hadn't been doing in the past, but with restaurants, you know, here in New Jersey, um, you know, not being able to be open, uh, you know, different messaging uh, on that regard. So, you know, just working with each individual partner and in each case, it's a little bit different because of their specific needs and the type of business that, that they are. But, you know, we want to be great partners for them and we want to help them um, as best we can. And, you know, if, if we can do that in a way that, that benefits everybody, uh, including the fans and, and give them, some engaging content that they can get behind then then all the best. I definitely agree. And and you guys have done some great stuff. I've been keeping track of what you guys are up to. And we've been trying to do the same thing to create engaging content. In fact, you're currently in engaging content right now with our friends from Segra. So uh, Greg, um, what opportunities do you see for businesses moving ahead? Again, we're in, in a very, you know, we're in an entertainment business. Uh, what do you see for baseball and, and outside of baseball as well? Well, one thing is everybody's kind of trained themselves, both individuals and businesses, to kind of be stronger at working remotely. And I think, you know, you'll start to see more businesses kind of let people work remotely because they know how to do it now. And, you know, we all know how to build a productive day and be as useful for our employer at home as we are. Uh, when we're in the office. Now, for us, baseball teams, it's a little different because you're going to host an event and you're going to have games and you have to have people there, obviously. So it's a little different in some cases. But, you know, for part of the off offseason, um, who knows, maybe there'll be some more work from home opportunities. And, you know, you kind of learn to work smarter, not harder and be more efficient. And I think that'll be a, a long lasting effect of uh, of what we've seen here now, you know, for on the baseball side, I think everybody is turned into an event company and, you know, you're starting to see a lot of teams do these, you know, drive in movies, drive in fireworks, um, you know, rent the field to play wiffle ball, um, you know, do character cruise throughs as I, you know, I've seen a couple of teams do. You know, anything like that, We're, we have these beautiful stadiums all over the country, 160 minor league teams. And, you know, we have these beautiful stadiums and, you know, let's figure out other ways to use them besides the 70 home games that we have. And while, of course, that's always been a focus, but, uh, you know, now it's been a, a much 
bigger focus for everybody. So I think it's really cool just to look out and see a lot of the creativity from uh, minor, minor league teams across the country. Yeah, no, Greg, you guys did something really cool, and I want to make sure everybody that's watching gets to, to hear this story. So tell the band story real quick. Uh, we did one thing where we got a band, a high school band, that uh, was going to play at a game. We got them to play Take Me Out to the Ball Game on Zoom. You know, all these ind the individual kids, a couple of clarinet players, a couple of trumpet players, a, a drummer, a guy on a trombone, uh, they all play take me out to the ball game and then we mashed it together uh, which is pretty cool so you know we posted that on our on our social media uh, the other day so you know stuff like that that you know different teams have been able to do is, is really cool now I, I still don't think anybody has topped the bouncy ball drop out of a helicopter after a game that you guys did which uh, in my 11 years traveling in the in the Sally League that remains my favorite promotion that we saw in another stadium i thought that was amazing brought a helicopter in dropped what what was it 2500 3000 uh, bouncy balls out there on, on the field and the, you know they rolled where they rolled and you won the prizes wherever your, your ball ended up i thought that was uh that was amazing uh that is the number one promo that i've ever seen in a visiting stadium so uh that was fantastic and then the other one uh you know the silly string that you guys is so good uh, I don't know how you convince people to let you do that, but uh, that's why you're the man. So, uh, you know, I miss getting down there, actually. You know, Charleston is such a great city, and, uh, you know, we've been down there. I've been going down there now for a decade with uh, with the Blue Claws, and we haven't been down in a few years, and who knows what will happen uh, this year. We, the, we weren't supposed to go anyway, the regular schedule. So, but uh, I miss getting down there. But, I mean, you guys are the best. But, you know, anyway, you know, you see all this stuff around the country. I mentioned a few that, that have been really cool to see, and, uh, you know, the minor league baseball industry specifically is filled with creative people from, you know, 160 teams all over the all over the country. So, you know, it's cool to, to look around and see all the stuff, you know, from, you know, from Maine to the Jersey Shore to South Carolina to California to Washington State and everywhere in between. It's, it's just a it's a fun industry to be a part of. And it's fun to look at all the creative stuff. Um, you know, I mentioned a few that I like, but. You know, there, there's there's so many out there. We, Greg, you're very kind, and that's that's very humbling. Um, we might have to hire you for our marketing because you're uh, you're speaking very well of us. But um, we appreciate that, and, and we appreciate your time. I know it's just a couple of minutes, and and again, this wasn't exactly what we had in mind. But the rain, uh, yeah, it's baseball, so rain is still affecting us. And Greg, thank you so much for your time again, Greg, with the Liquid Blue Claws. Yeah, thanks again, Nate. Uh, always a lot of fun to talk to you. Keep up the great work, and uh, hopefully, we'll see it some minor league baseball function. Uh, or a River Dogs, including a River Dogs game here at, uh, at some point soon. Thanks, my friend. And thank you for watching Make Fun in Your Business presented by Segra. We'll see you back here next time.